Today in the bouquet, we are looking at the Au Liberté Mojo. This is the Mark McNary and Au Liberté collaboration boot. Right off the bat, if you're wondering who Mark McNary is, I didn't know who he was up until a week ago. And now that I've been looking at his website, I gotta say, as far as this whole new young men's fashion or this urban fashion line goes, he's probably one of the guys that is actually cool. I mean, he seems to be kind of funny. He understands humor and comedy film and all that stuff, and he's putting it all together. And he's just creating clothing that is not so pretty but just a little bit more mantastic to put it lightly but let's talk about this beautiful mojo boot so the first thing you're going to notice like all liberté boots it is fully welted it's a sewed down welt and it is sewed down to a natural rubber sole so that means it's going to wear a little bit longer than some of those synthetic materials out there that a lot of young men's fashion companies use and that brings me to something that i really got to mention here is that as far as all those companies go, when they're creating footwear, boots, and shoes for younger men, fashion stuff, stuff that's based upon a season, and a season being, what, four months? A Liberté takes it a step further, if not three steps further. They build a quality boot. They fall right in that price point to where most of that garbage lands, and they're not building garbage. They're actually using really good materials. The labor, the cleanliness, and everything that goes into building the actual boot, the finishing, is always really nice. Now there's a whole backstory on a Liberté and I'm not gonna get into that because if you watch my other two reviews on their footwear, I cover all about their practices and how they pay their employees and all that stuff. We're just gonna talk about the mojo today. So the next thing that really stands out is the fact that they're using cowhide on the outside and goat on the inside, which ideally makes this a wonderful warm weather boot especially and i never really push this but especially if you're one of those guys in the summertime that you want to run around without socks for a couple months or you're going to visit a hotter climate this is a really nice boot this is a really good choice goat skin really good against the skin really pulls a lot of moisture away cowhide natural material breeze it allows your foot to feel like it's just got an extra layer of skin on it and adding these two materials together running around warm climate hot feet you could swing this without a pair of socks i would suggest that you wear an ankle sock or a polypropylene sock inside here but it'll work now the whole lacing system and the choice of pieces that they build the upper out of are nice it's a soft flexible boot this is a traveling boot this is something you can pack up put in a backpack put in a suitcase pull it out it's not going to take on any memory of the shape you can run around this thing all day long you're not going to feel worn out and tired like you would if you were running around and say flip-flops or sandals or something like that because you're going to get more support Another thing that's going to happen if you're wearing these in warmer climates, if you're using this as a summertime boot, is you're not going to feel like your feet are drying out from wearing flip-flops and sandals. It's going to hold a little bit of that natural moisture on your feet, and you're going to have more comfortable feet as the days progress wearing this. Now, something that Au Liberté does is that they don't use hard cardboard when it comes to footboards. They're using an extra thick, heavy-duty piece of leather down in that footboard. They do include a very basic insole and given the fact that most young men style boots like this fashion boots they include the crappiest of insoles and Au Liberté goes one step further and actually builds a really nice insole using that leather footboard the soft leather upper the goat inside they really do put together a nice product
Now let's talk about size and fit on this thing. Now on their website, they're suggesting that you go a half size bigger. I don't fully agree with that. This is my third pair, and this pair is built on the exact same last that my Gondos are built on. And having this in my regular size and size 12, I have to say it's really comfortable with thin socks. And it's very comfortable without any socks. I've been wearing these around without any socks just running around the studio, doing some photo shoots in them. I am actually really happy the way this feels without any socks. It feels like a pair of really good handmade loafers. If you understand that feeling, this boot has that feel to it, the foot feel to it, and then you also get the support of the ankle. So, so going up that half size, it really depends on what you're gonna be wearing on your foot to accommodate for space inside the boot. But I would say just buy your size because I think you'll be happy with them. Now, ideally, I spoke about where I see this being worn. I see this being worn in hotter climates, New Mexico, Arizona, Texas, places like that where guys are gonna want something outside of a work boot or outside of a Western boot, some place where somebody wants to be a little bit more style conscious, fashion conscious, can completely see this working for them. The other place I see this is because it's really not that outlandish of a style. It doesn't really say, hey, look at me, but it does have enough of a feel to it that maybe a guy who was coming from wearing tactical boots and just wants something more casual for the summertime to run around in a pair of khakis and not feel like he has on military boots all the time, it really does have that same profile to it without the bulk, the weight, and the heat. So those are the two places I see this thing really working well. So this is the collaboration boot, the mojo between Mark McNary and Or Liberté in this beautiful gray. Hey, if you're currently wearing anything from Or Liberté or if you've watched my other videos and you really like the brand and you pick something up, please comment below, let me know, let everybody know what you think about the boots. Hey, if you're interested in seeing some of the detailed photos I took of this boot, swing by to bootguy.com. I will have the detailed photos, I'll have more information about this boot, links to Mark McNary's site, all in one blog posting titled, The Mojo. Please don't forget to hit my subscribe button below. You know it really helps out. And hey, if you feel inclined, if you've been enjoying my videos over the past two and a half years, 
I would really appreciate if you swung by my Patreon site and considered supporting me on Patreon. If you're considering picking up a pair of these Libertés, whether it be the Mojo, the Gondor, or anything else in their line, and you just got a few questions about size and fit material, whether or not it's a good place to put your money, feel free to shoot me over an email. All right, until the next time, I'm the Boot Guy. Thanks a lot for watching.